Hello and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk. Attorney Brian D. Lerner, continuing on our discussion of consular processing and all the various issues. Um, let's say that once your visa number is current, or if you're an immediate relative or doing an employment-based type petition that doesn't have visa waiting, and you're ready to come in, what other things could possibly go wrong? Well, you have to be admissible, and under uh, what's referred to as INA Section 212, there are hundreds of different grounds of inadmissibility, such as crimes, misrepresentation, uh, moral turpitude issues, fraud, prior deportations. Uh, I'm almost out of breath. Um, so you have to uh, make sure that you are not inadmissible on any of those grounds, because if you are, they're going to deny you entry. Um, however, uh, look at some of my other videos. Um, there's waivers for tons of different grounds of inadmissibility, so it's a matter of preparing the proper waiver. Uh, but um, once you have determined that you are not inadmissible any longer and or, or ever and that the visa number is current, then you are able to proceed forward with the consulate processing You'll be able to go there, have the interview, uh, and uh, hopefully get legal status to be able to come into the United States. Um, if it turns out that you are inadmissible, you'll need to have a waiver ready, and you'll submit the waiver to the proper window, and they'll say goodbye. It takes them six months to a year to decide on it, and then they will come back uh, to you with a decision. Now. You know, unfortunately, what some people do is they go there and the first thing you know is uh, the consulate officer asks them about this or that, knowing what the answer is, and then they, uh, you know, get fraud from there. So be careful, and we'll go from there. Thank you. Bye.